Hey everyone, welcome in uh, to a Core Insider look at some new product here from SHOT Show 2020. Um, day two, we all survived day one. Yep. So we're all breathing, still alive, upright, good, good to go. Got a good pace going. Got a good know? pace going, good. Yeah. So uh, we got a couple of cool things to talk about here. Uh, on my left, I have Mr. Eric Overstreet, uh, product line manager for the Rangefinders, right? Thank you. Yep. Yep. And on right over here, Mr. Michael Wanneke. Uh, uh, product line manager. Well, what's your official title now? <laughs> Direct, <laughs> Direct, <laughs> director of Source Product Group. He's he's still there's still little cobwebs from last night apparently. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No. His pace has slowed down <laughs> yeah, a little. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so so he's in charge of all the uh, uh, observation product here. So um, we got a couple things to talk about. Like I said, I'm gonna throw it to Eric first because I want to talk about this full draw four. Uh, range finder that we have coming out this year. Okay. Right. So this has been a this has been a while in the making, and I think it's got some really cool features that uh, archers out there are going to to love. I, I can remember I started almost 13 years ago, and in my first year I was in a warehouse in Montana shooting arrows, <laughs> trying to get BC values on arrows to develop this product, and. Uh, so it's, it's been a long time. So it's the been making. a long road, right? We, we've pivoted a couple times, and we yeah. finally got a product that we're ready to get out. Nice, yeah. nice. So, what are the main features of the full draw that kind of separate it from other archery-specific rangefinders on the market? We've got two new main features inside of this this year. The first one is we're doing archery ballistics. Okay. And ballistics is a very misunderstood with item within the industry. Most oh. people say. Hey, does your uh, rangefinder compensate for angles? Okay. And people assume that that means ballistics, and it doesn't. Um, when something just compensates for angles, that's a trig solution. So is that kind of like a one size fits all? Not really specific to your specific. Um, what do you guys? I'm not an you, archer, so bolt arrow. Is that what? You, I, we we handle both of those inside of this. Okay. So yes, there you go. Uh, right. Both cross vertical bows and crossbows. <laughs> yeah, I got something right. All right. So. so with our ballistics inside of this, we're able to, to develop a custom profile for every person's arrow mm -hmm. uh, or bolt. And uh, we get our accuracy down to a tenth of a yard here rather than maybe tens of yards, which is what you'll see with the trig solution. Okay. I like to give two examples for this. Um, if you shoot a 20-yard shot with a 70-degree angle, which is a common 3D shot if you have a cat up in a tree. Okay, yeah, I know they try to they try to trick you guys or make it really hard, right? Or a lot of like steep angles or low Cor angles. Correct. Like that, right? Yeah. Uh, you will find uh, with those close and high angle shots, you'll typically see differences from 10 to 15 yards between trig and uh, an our ballistic solution. So that's definitely the difference between a hit and miss, right? Because those those targets really aren't that big generally. It, it close distances, yeah. not necessarily, but yeah. it is the difference between the center X mark and an outside ring. Right. Okay. And so this yeah. is a product for when, when half inches matter for people, this is a product to meet their needs. Okay. So we looked at the close in uh, high angle, common for 3D archers. Uh, we also look at a longer range, medium angle. So we did 2070. If we look at 70, 20, so 70 yards and 20 degrees, Okay. now we're looking at differences of around two yards. Oh, wow. And two yards at 70 yards also makes a big difference. Yeah. Right, right, yeah. Uh, Compounding, right, at distance like that. Yeah. Correct. So yeah. now we're looking at solutions uh, for hunters uh, that do kind of stretch the limits um, in terms right. of distance and capability or people that are looking for right. a solid follow-up shot. Yeah. Uh, this product is going to get them there a lot closer. Yeah, and you, sh you shoot a lot of archery too, right? Yeah. And uh, more and more of those competitions are um, stretching you guys out, right? Yeah, Long definitely, distance, right? definitely. Especially if you go to like a total archery challenge or anything mm -hmm. like that. You know, th it's not uncommon to have 100 to 120 yard shots. Wow. You know, and uh, these are more distance related as opposed to maybe angle, but certainly there are some that are pretty extreme angles on, on a lot of those courses. And so yeah, uh, certainly comes into play in a lot of that. And it's really easy to program the ballistic part of it, right? I mean, it's, there's that's really correct. three different factors that you have to enter into it, and that's really it, right? Okay, so there's <laughs> not like a ton of menus you have to go through and all this stuff? We, yeah. we have three menus. Okay. So it, it's worth mentioning that we partnered with Archer's Advantage for this. Mm -hmm. 
Um, so archers advantage uh, for anybody that's uh, serious in the archery world they offer a custom ballistic kind of calculator they've been doing it online uh, they first did it in Palm Pilots 25 years ago. <laughs> Palm uh, Pilots, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's, it's a rocket scientist out of California uh, okay. that uh, put all the math together and runs the site. Oh, wow. And uh, it is generally accepted in the industry as the best ballistic solution. And it's all right. what people use to create cut tapes and things. Hmm. Um, and so uh, working with, with Perry there, what we've done is, is we've got three inputs. Uh, we do arrow velocity measured at three feet from the bow, which okay. is a standard IPO rule. Right. Um, we do arrow weight measured in grains, and then we do peep height. So the first two get us to plus or minus about a yard, but the peep height actually gets us to 10th of yard accuracy. And uh, it's peep height at full draw, correct? Measured at full draw right. from the center of the peep to the center of the shaft at a perpendicular angle off the arrow. Okay. Yep. Yep. Cool. So you so got to have somebody there to help you get that measurement, obviously. Right. So you yeah. can't really pull back. Yeah, no, yeah. Measure, yeah. run a tape on that yeah. while I hold this. <laughs> yeah. so. But so with those three simple uh, values, you're going to get a really accurate reading. That's then. correct. Yeah, that's custom ballistic profile. That's awesome. Yeah. 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 Uh, and then what's that other big feature, too? I'm really excited about that other one, too. I think that's going to be uh, really popular as well. Uh, and that works both for long-range hunters and for 3D uh, shooters as well, and that's our flight path technology. Yeah, the flight path, yeah. That's so right. using the ballistic information uh, from our, our ballistic solution, uh, we're going to tell archers what the high point is of their arrow flight. And okay. in the shooting world, we call that max ordnance. Max ordnance, yeah, right. In yeah. archery, we call that the high point. Um, and that way, somebody can make a decision. If they see an obstacle between themselves and a target, if the obstacle is above the tick mark for a high point, then they know that they're not going to have a problem with it. So uh, the arrow is always going to remain underneath the obstacle. Right. Okay. So on the display, does it actually it actually shows you what that height is going to be? That's correct. We've okay. got 21 tick marks that run vertically oh, okay. up the center of the bow. Uh, I'm sorry, center of the reticle. Yeah. And. Um, Based on your distance, we'll select a different tick mark that's appropriate. Cool. Uh, we've got two-inch resolution at 40 yards. Okay. Um, so that's kind of uh, the, the accuracy of that. Gotcha. So and so we, we talked about if the obstacles are above it. Yeah. But if the obstacles are below it, then you know that you have the potential for having an obstruction. Okay. And at that point, what you would do is, is you would figure out your distance to the obstacle, mm -hmm. distance to the target, and then by using that flight path tick mark, you can figure out where the obstacle would be along the way. Mm -hmm. Cool. So you can figure out if you're going to go over it okay. you know, as opposed to you know, hitting it not, and certainly not going under it. But. Gotcha. Yeah, because I know there, there are a lot of situations where maybe if you're in a tree stand or something like that, there's some branches right up there yeah. or some, some brush or something mm -hmm. like that, and you're just not quite sure. So this rangefinder is going to give you that confidence to either take that shot or maneuver to get a better shot, right? That's correct. Okay. Yeah. And that cool. measures the flight path out to a maximum distance of what? So depending on your arrow setup, you typically are going to be able to get about 80 yards out of it. Okay. Oh, wow. for, for an 80-yard shot, plus or minus 10 to 15 based right. on uh, on okay. your inputs. Right? Wow. So, those, yeah, those two features are... Uh, I, I, have, I haven't heard of any other product on the market that has features like that. and uh, so we, we are the first to do archery ballistics. Yeah. Uh, we had archery ballistics inside of our range finders back 12 years ago. We had three bow groups, um, but we since moved away from that. The bow velocities continue to improve, and it just got easier to ran, run off of trig. Yeah. But we never provided that archer the... Uh, the perfect solution, and Leupold wants to be known for the perfect solution for ballistics. And, gotcha. Uh, so that's where we are today. And of course, this is built off of tried and true technology, right? That's uh, correct. I mean, the body is um, is it's akin to like our 1600, right? That's correct. Yep. Uh, and our our long-standing family of that. Uh, the product we do our interpolation so that we get accurate distances between white and dark targets mm -hmm. that are at the same distance. Yep. Uh, that's a big one that throws off. Uh, a lot of archers, when their rangefinder can't differentiate between light and dark targets. Cool. Mm -hmm. And then you guys got this cool green kind of uh, uh, chassis, too, on there. Right. So dif differentiating factor there. You admit. So, oh, go ahead. So, yeah, just the uh, aluminum body, so extremely rugged and durable, but right. also a red display, just to make sure that oh, everybody understands right, yeah. it's a red OLED display in there. So yep. visibility, especially in, in low light conditions, is going to be optimal. E easy yep. to read. Yeah. I've 
had customers send me pictures of these things after they've gone through combines. <laughs> where yeah. they, they drop them out in the field when they're hunting, and uh, they yeah. find them later after they harvest the fields. Yeah. Still work fine. Yeah, yeah. that's l awesome. Got a, a dent here or there, but uh, still function perfectly. You had mentioned uh, Total Archery Challenge events. Uh, right. We are a main sponsor of that, if you guys didn't know. And I encourage you to get out. If you're interested in 3D archery, go check it out. We will have these at those events, too. Yep. So that's a great opportunity to go try them, check them out in a real-world condition, and see um, see the benefits of it right yeah. for yourself. Yep. Uh, thanks, Eric. This is, this is going to be a great product. I know uh, we, there's a lot of excitement around it right now. I sh Sean over there has been showing it every, every two minutes. He has <laughs> it out of the cage showing it. Good. Uh, and then, Michael, I want to throw it to you. So uh, we don't necessarily have anything brand, brand new, but I want to talk about some stuff that kind of came out late last year right. um, that still has a lot of momentum because our observation line has changed a ton over the last, um, I don't know, two years or yep, so, right? Yep, ex absolutely. It's evolved quite a bit. Um, and Zach, who's our product manager for observation, does spotting scopes and, and, uh, and the uh, binoculars, done a great job of kind of filling out the line. Uh, you know, the, the spotting scope example that you see here in front of you is our uh, SX4 Pro Guide HD spotter. Mm -hmm. This particular one is a, is a 15 to 45 by 65. We obviously have it here at Angled, and it's also available in a straight eyepiece. But, and uh, we have the big brother to this one would be another 3 to 1 zoom in a 20 to 60 by 85. Okay. Also angled and straight. So, so you know, as far as packability, um, you've got long range capability, obviously, with the 85 millimeter. And then, and then this in a much more compact and, and packable 65 millimeter option. So right. really good quality product, uh, HD, edge to edge clarity. I mean, it's fantastic, very robust uh, product. And, and I think that's the big thing to talk about with not only our optics in these products is, is phenomenal, but, but just the ruggedness and the lifetime guarantee behind all of these observation products, uh, the spotting scopes and the binoculars. Right, yeah, the durability behind it too. Right. And, um, th and and the price point's really, really good for the performance you get on this SX4 there. Yep, um, uh, under $1,000 yeah. uh, for the 85 and it's certainly lower than that for the 65. So right. very good quality HD product for yeah. those price points. And just, I just the aesthetic industrial design on it, I mm -hmm. think you guys knocked it out of the park. These, it just looks really, really good. Um, and uh, I, I know you, we all want our stuff to perform too, but when I buy stuff, I like to look, I like it to look <laughs> yeah, good as absolutely. well too, right? Yeah, yeah absolutely. So, so that's just I, I just want to make sure that you know it's really about the rugged aspect, you know, beyond our, our optical design and, and and our lifetime guarantee on those products. And then also over yeah. here in the binocular world. Um, we have our, S, our BX2 Alpine here. This is a 42 millimeter. We've also got this available in a 52 millimeter. So your, your traditional sizes in terms of magnification, 8X, 10X, and a 42, and a 10X, and a 12X, and, and a 52. But, um, but again, you know, as far as affordability and, and durability and, and, and performance at a price below $300, this thing is unbelievable. It's phenomenal. Uh, yeah. Magnesium housing. So again, going back to the rugged story, I mean, yeah. extremely rugged product, but still very, very lightweight and uh, just a great looking cosmetic design here and uh, like I said available in the 42s and the 52s so really whether you're an eastern whitetail dude or whether you're out in the west and you need to reach out a little bit more this has got everything that you need and uh, it's great value yeah now first time I looked through those I was really really impressed and then they told me the price point I just couldn't believe it exactly. especially for a magnesium body uh, binocular like right. that Right. Awesome, guys. Well, thank you so much for joining us, um, talking about your new products here. And uh, I hope you guys have a good rest of time here at SHOT Show surviving. Right? Only two more days left. Yep. yep. And hopefully we'll we see a lot there. of these people out there at the other trade shows. And the, yeah. And certainly the Total Archery Challenge event where we, they'll be able to try out all these products. Yeah, so. we'll have all these products out there. So that's a great time to come out and try it. Or any consumer event uh, 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 that's, that's happening that will be there. You know, come check right. us out. Awesome. And for more information, of course, on all these awesome products, uh, go check out loophole.com. Uh, so until next time, we'll see you guys. Thanks, Nick.